one of the things that I like to do to try to get some uh, some images, um, trail cam footage of some bucks in the area is uh, I'll make mock scrapes and fake rubs. So this tree here, I'm coming in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrape this up on this side here. Investigate, and of course, you know they will. They will smell it. Sometimes rub it, leave their scent on the tree. You can see an old rub right here. So obviously, a pretty good tree to start with. So we'll just kind of rub it up like that a little bit, and then right here. I've made a mock scrape. Got a licking branch there. And got my cell cam in that tree. And I'm actually going to be sitting in a ghost blind back here. There's a there's a fence line back there to a big open field. So on a north wind, northwest wind direct west or a southwest wind um, I'll be able to hunt this location and it's uh, 22 yards from there to this spot so um, it's kind of open timber so I can see them coming from a ways even though I'm sitting on the ground I'll be ready to ready to roll before they get where I need them to be so uh, I think this is gonna be a pretty good pretty good spot so we'll keep you guys posted of inventory we get off of the scrape. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I've made me a mock scrape and I've got a pecan tree that's already in this location, but what I did was I zip tied on some oak tree branches just because they hold the leaves much longer and I've got my cameras, a sailor camera and a regular on video um, right here overlooking it so I can monitor that and then I've cut a gap in this tree right here and as you can see my stand is right up there level with that so I'll be my silhouette will be right in line with that tree um, not the best because it's an open field behind me I would prefer to have a backdrop but uh it's a big creek and a drop off right there um and this is really the only window um that they could see me is um right in this location and that's giving me a shot if they're here at this scrape because they just walk a couple feet over and uh I'm hidden until they get back on the other side um of the clearing which is over here where I've got a gravity feeder I've got another licking branch on this side which they're already using and I've got a uh, licking vine with another mock scrape with my stand right there so I think this will be a pretty good pretty good setup hopefully I can get one kill before all the leaves fall off but this is one of the only places we have that 
is mainly cedars around it so all this should stay pretty green and give me a pretty good pretty good opportunity so we'll see